All right, so today I'm going to show you how to make a Brockhampton type beat. Now, I've been listening to like, a lot of Brockhampton these days. I've been actually listening to a lot of Erisidence or Destins, however you call that album's name. I have been actually enjoying it more than what I usually enjoy that album in the first place. Cause I remember that was the first album that I listened from Brockhampton and then Saturation Trilogy, but I think I should just listen to it like the Saturation Trilogy first, then Erisidence, because I understand it way better now and I've actually enjoyed this more. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I have cooked up a uh, Brockhampton type beat. I'm going to be breaking it down. For this beat, I decided to make a heavy, hard bass type because, like, the type of beat that I adore for Brockhampton. I just really like their hard bass, you know, type beats. I just didn't have so much aggression there and the lyrics that they have over there. I just, I just love it so much. So yeah, let's get into the beat. For the first part of this beat, I decided to use a heavy, hard 808. I decided to, uh, let me bring in the plugin here. I decided to use Flex. This is a new plugin they added for FL Studio 20. And I use the 808 synth blasted um, bass. So like I've added a lot of effects as you can see here. I added a camel crusher. I added the British crunch, and I added like, a slight, you know, mix. And I also added a dream preset, and I added some saturation. I know it sounds crazy. And then I have an EQ for one part where it sounds like it's going to go underwater, and one you know just a regular EQ. If you see here, it makes like the melody. It's higher than what usually like the bass would sound like. Mostly it'll just be like below this. Maybe like in this part, it's mostly mixed. But I put it way higher because I want to have like that heavy bass feeling, kind of like its own melody. So yeah, this is what it sounds like. So if you see that last part where I like panned it a little bit, what I did here is I went to control. Notes pan and I pan these two notes just to make it, I don't know, just cooler to be honest. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> let's get to it. When I added a kick for this part, the same thing I actually, you know, just put is pan the last two notes together just to, I don't know, just complement the bass. You know, it's better if I play both together. It just sounds way better. You can definitely see that just going crazy. I don't know, I just like that complete feeling. And yeah, I added these drums. I added the hi-hat and the snare combined with the bass and the kick. So for this second half, when you see here is Flex 2, I made it unique. I actually made this unique like I think five times or something, it's insane. But uh, yeah, in here in this part, I pitched the 808 up more just to give it like a better, I don't know, just make it more aggressive I guess, just more crazy. Like here this part. I don't know, I just like it. I just think it's very unique. I like it. And also I added this like little perk, I guess you could say, this this crunch effects from the Nick Mira Forge drum kit. Uh, yeah, then I switch up here. I actually add a melody finally instead of bass. I had this reverse kind of thing with an EQ that sounds like it's underwater. So if you see it here, you know, it's just creepy, you know, it sounds like something like Travis would probably rap on. I was thinking like Travis Scott, but I said, you know what, let's just keep it Brockhampton-ish. I use it for like a transition, and I added the bass with it as well, but a slower bass and not that fast. Also in the underwater. This part, what I did is that I took out the underwater effect and I added some snares, like 
same thing here, just added it for this part. So for this other power, I just put like the kick, like a solo kick part, and then it gets crazier introducing the bass again. another hi-hat or I guess you could say it's definitely different because this one's a more like I, I feel like it's slower slower pace and this one I guess goes a little bit faster than like what the first half was all right here is part I that was in like hi-hat rolls and like just Kind of put like a high hat in between as well, just to give it a more, I guess, trap feeling, just to make it faster. And also, I went completely berserk on this 808 that I'm gonna play right now. Like, like hear this 808. Yeah, I just completely love that bass. I just thought, wow, I finally nailed that Brockhampton sound that I always wanted to achieve. So yeah, I'm gonna play with you the rest of the part of this beat as well and also just gradually introduce the snare again but just instead of two it's just one Alright, I'm going to play the rest of this beat. Also, one thing I forgot to mention was this hi-hat pattern that does slightly change instead of adding hi-hat rolls I just put like some more hi-hats in between just some more accurate I think you say let me turn these two off the like you know that thing in between the hi-hat just gives it a more like ryth rhythmic flow I guess you could say and they added it with the snare and with the bass and all So yeah, I definitely, I even had to agree, you guys had me, you guys literally need to agree with that. I went berserk with the bass, I definitely switched it up in a lot of parts. I felt like I didn't want the same bass playing for the entire beat, it just make it completely boring, you know? On so the entire track, and I added some perks and all that stuff. It's a really simple beat, and it's a really short beat, it's like, what, uh, 2 minutes and 15, 2 minutes and 12 seconds, it's really short. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you like, the mixing process that I did. As I, as I said, the 808 is so, it's just, I added a bunch of distortion. I added some free limiter in my master. I put the cell up so I can hear more. It's gonna be louder. Uh, I just checked a bunch of tutorials how to make your your drums knock and I've also been recommending those videos. So I decided, hey, why not to see it? And I just found these really helpful ticks and also putting a few really paramedic EQ and turning up the middle of the 1500 a little bit up and the 800 a little bit up as well makes it louder and also adding a soft clipper will just make your kick punch even harder and then i put my famous maximus there i'm not gonna show the process but <laughs> yeah you but you guys basically got it i eq the kick i uh, side chained it with yes i use fruity limiter okay i don't understand what's the problem with being fruity limiter because i've seen so many people on twitter like a lot of producers on twitter and just youtube videos just being against fruity limiter and just using this other plugin that I forgot the name of that they use for side chaining. I mean, I've used that. I, I like it, but I just think this one is better. I don't know. Just 
have more control with it. What, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. So uh, yeah, I side chained the kick in the 808. If I can find it, yeah, the 808 here. That's well, I I side chained it. This is probably gonna scare you, but uh, yeah, that's for the melody. That's like the reverse part. Let me see if I can find it over here. So for that part, I just used an isotope vinyl just to make it, I don't know, creepier. And then I put the warp depth up to, I think, 24% or something. Then I put an EQ for the underwater part that I automated it. And then I put normal EQs to cut the frequencies and all. And I put some reverb, obviously, because we need a reverb to make it more ambient. And a stereo shaper, because why not, just to make it seem like it's just all over the headphones and just sounds better i guess you could say and also a sound condenser because i when i first um heard the melody without the sound condenser it just sounded really low. like let me show you this sounds so low when i hit the sound condenser and you, you hear it so slightly louder you guys might not necessarily tell but for me it's just louder than what it usually is obviously because i have sound geyser you know apply it but it depends how loud you really put your music but uh yeah definitely the mixing was not that complicated this beat i think i got it under like probably like two hours because i was trying to like experiment that i want to go for a more experimental approach because definitely making trying to replicate a sound from an artist that's really experimental is not that easy i mean broadcasting is a really unique um type of band i try replicating your sound trying to make beats like it but it just didn't come out but then when i heard this bass like this flex bass from their new plugin it just inspired me so much and i said okay i'm this, this sounds so much like brock hampton and there's like a lot of 808s here like fl studio set up their, their game with the plugins and all this 808 type uh thing just really gives me so much inspiration if you guys have beat block use this uh plugin it's completely free with FL Studio, but you have to update it FL Studio 20. Unfortunately, if you're using an older software, you can't use it, obviously. But uh, yeah, I definitely like this plugin so much. It gave me so much inspiration. If you guys just, just please use this, like it's just you're not gonna get bored using this plugin whatsoever. So yeah, just like a little short video that I want to do, like a behind the scenes. I will be posting this beat in my Beats channel, JMR Beats. It will probably be out tonight or maybe tomorrow. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for 160 subscribers. Um, I'm, we're near for 170 subscribers. Please, we, I want to hit the mark. I want to hit the 170 mark before 2020 comes. Or 200 subs, you know? I'll, let's just go for 200 subs. Let's, let's go local, bro. Let's just go local. But uh, yeah, for real, thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, please subscribe to my JRMR Beats. We're close to 40 subscribers. And uh, yeah, let's get to 5,000 there because I mean, we're like 100 views away. And yes, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button down below. And yeah, peace out, everybody.